So how can we get into the emotions that our customers, our prospects have, that they really need our solution? And our solution is the exact right thing that they're looking for. Okay, Maya Angelou has said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Okay, I think the saying in EO now is, uh, stories stay, lessons learned. Did I get that right? So that I'm learning from, in the case of EO, it's that with 63% of people are called a story from a presentation, but only 5% are called a statistic. And our job is to make those statistics relevant. Maybe they're a good entry point to the story you want to tell, a story that we'll remember. Okay, how can we identify and alleviate <clears throat> these feelings? Being out of control. As business owners, we know that feeling of being stressed, not having enough time to get things done. These two together are my favorite. Understaffed can cause you a lot of headache, but also overstaffed can cause you stress and headache because you got people on the bench you got to pay, not do, doing it enough, okay? Not having enough time to get to everything. So how can we uh, flip the script on that and still work with emotion, but make those emotions more positive things that our solution is the answer for, okay? And make those feelings more positive that your customers appreciate the freedom, the predictability, the security, the reassurance that your solution brings to them. That's the place where you want to be, okay? Of course, we need to get that information from people and they don't always want to share it right away if we don't know them yet, or it's a little bit harder to get to. So how are we going to get to that point of eliciting that information from people we want to be working with? Okay, and that's why we start here. 